Hey guys, Cody Barton here. Welcome to my channel. Coming to you from Medellin, Colombia. And in this video, I want to share with you the four levels of financial freedom. And the reason that I wanted to do this is for you to better understand, okay, number one, where am I at? And then number two, where am I trying to go? And that all begins with understanding where you specifically are at in your financial freedom journey. Now, the reason that I wanted to make this video is you may be watching this and you're maybe living paycheck to paycheck right now, or maybe you're watching this and you're making a lot of money, but you really don't know how to go to that next level of financial independence, financial freedom. And so there's really four different levels to this. And starting at the first level, is going to be financial security. And so that's really the baseline. And so what that looks like is if your bills altogether are say $4,000 a month and you're bringing in $4,000 a month to pay all those bills, you can pay for all of your bills. You have financial, I guess, security because you're able to pay all of your bills. You don't really have anything left over to do anything else that you really wanna do, but that baseline is covered for you. And so um, this is, you know, obviously the first step, you know, cause some people are coming from a spot where maybe you have debt and you really are barely able to cover the bills that you already have. So that first step is getting to just financial security where you can pay your bills every single month and not be getting consistently into debt. So one of the things that I want to ask you is looking at, okay, what is that for you? What are all of your bills when you add all of your bills up that you have to pay every single month and where are you at with that? So once you've established that, then let's look at level two, which is financial vitality. And so financial vitality is really where all of your bills are paid, you have some money left over, you're able to maybe go on one or two vacations a year, you have you know, uh, a little bit of extra money coming in past your you know, just paycheck to paycheck living, you're able to go out and you know, out to eat and you know, spend a little bit of excess money on top of just paying your bills every month. So you have some vitality to enjoy life a little bit more because you have a little bit more left over. And so I'm gonna ask you again, what does that look like for you? So say if $4,000 a month pays all of your bills and that is your financial security, what is financial vitality? Is that maybe 5,000, 6,000 a month, maybe a little bit more? So it's just understanding for you, what would that look like for you to be in that financial vitality stage? Now, the third stage is where life starts to get a lot more fun, where you have financial independence. And so financial independence is really where you have your baseline bills covered, you have you know, vitality covered where you're able to go on some vacations. Financial independence is where you probably have some sort of business or some sort of assets or investments that are paying you. So you have some leverage in your life where all your bills are paid, you can go on vacation, your money still keeps coming in, you maybe have some employees or you have some team members that are helping leverage some of your business out that you're building so you're able to still have money coming in when you're not working. Because that's one of the major differences between financial, uh, you know, that financial baseline and then you know, financial vitality is that those stages, it's usually you doing all of the work still for that money to still come in. And once you're reaching more financial independence, that's where you have a team that even when you're on vacation, even when you're out doing fun things that you wanna be doing, money is still coming in based on assets you've invested in or a team that you've started to build. And that's where, you know, what, what does that look like for you and your life? So we talked about maybe you're at 4,000 a month for your baseline, maybe five, 6,000 a month for the vitality. Um, and then, you know, this independent stage, maybe that's eight, nine, $10,000 plus a month where you're able to do all the things that you want um, to an extent where you're able to live a really good life and have you know financial independence where an expense comes up it's not too big of a deal you know a health challenge comes up you can cover it and make sure that's taken care of you could help support your family even better maybe be able to help give back in the form of charity and other things so you know I'm challenging you on that third stage what does that financial independence look like for you to be at that stage all right, and so looking at the last stage here, which is true financial freedom. This, the main difference between financial independence and financial freedom is that your financial freedom is when this is residual income. This is the income that regardless whether you're working or you're not working, this income's coming in. That could be in the form of rental properties. That could be in the form of you know, buying businesses that you're a passive investor in. Uh, that could be in the form of you know, maybe writing a book with residual book sales or you know, just anything that's gonna be paying you residually. 
And that financial freedom is where you get to live the life you want, you live where you want, you drive what you want, you go on the vacations you want, you help your family the way that you want, you spend the time that you want, and that money is still coming in consistently regardless of what you're doing. And so when it comes to financial freedom, everybody's gonna have a different number. So, you know, what does that look like for you? You know, that would be the, the final stage is writing down, you know, what amount of money monthly would I need to have coming in to be truly financially free if I'm not doing any work at all? So that would be literally, you're just spending your life doing the things that you love and that money is still coming in regardless. Is that 8,000 a month, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000? You know, what does that number look like for you? And as you're looking at these four stages of financial freedom is understanding, okay, where are you at today? So if you're in the stage of, man, I'm, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, I'm just trying to get to financial security, that's okay. It's just understanding this is where I'm at and this is that next step that I need to go to for me to get that much closer to financial freedom. And it doesn't happen overnight, but if you understand where you're at, then you could start making plans to get to that next stage. Maybe it's you need to start earning more money maybe starting another business, maybe doing more real estate deals if you're in real estate. Obviously on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of content around how to make more money in real estate. Um, if you're trying to find more people to network with in the real estate industry, uh, make sure to check the, uh, the description in my, uh, in my bio below. You can join the Facebook group that myself and my partner Pace Morby have, and you can go in there and network with other individuals that are on the path towards financial freedom as well. Because I can tell you this, when you get to a point in your life where you have financial freedom, that's where I am at, you can do a lot of fun things. I mean, right now, I am, you know, I was in Miami for almost 10 days. I'm in Medellin, Colombia for 10 days. I'm going to Michigan for my friend's birthday to hang out on the Lake Michigan. Then me and my girlfriend are going to Costa Rica for two weeks to celebrate my sister's 30th birthday and then to surf and go do waterfall tours and go see monkeys and all this fun stuff. And the reason that I'm able to do that is because I've spent years, I've been an entrepreneur for 10 years, I've spent years developing passive income streams, years developing businesses, people, teams to be able to create this lifestyle where I'm able to do a lot of fun things and I'm able to enjoy my life to the fullest. But again, it didn't happen overnight. And that's where I wanted to share this video with you today is just understanding where are you at, where do you wanna go, and what is that one next step that you can do today to get there? So with that, if you have any questions, anything financial related or financial freedom related, make sure to post those in the comments below. Happy to get any questions answered for you. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know as well. I love talking about finances because once you reach a stage in your life, like myself, where you have financial freedom, you get to do all the fun stuff you've always wanted to do. You get to help your family. You get to have a ton of fun. You get to go explore the world and really enjoy life to the fullest. And you don't have to be sitting there worrying about you know, your bills and all those things that are you know, just part of your day-to-day -day life. And so um, you know, with that, appreciate you guys. If you got any value, I ask, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.